Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yesha Allah, Koholoimla, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweshai, Bahashim Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who do rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Aki and Menachwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweshai to the best of their ability. Jachanah Nawah is coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And it's something that um, a lot of the, the brothers from GMS been going into as of today. Um, a real bad look on the nation of Israel. But, you know, we do understand that certain things are going to happen. Um, you got different sects of Israelites, just like you had different today. You have different sects of Israelites today, just like you had different sects of um, Israelites back in the days. You know, differences. You know, they kind of had their own group, their own clique, you know, their own clan, so to speak. And, you know, some were doing. Matter of fact, those spirits are back in the, in the planet today, though. But let's get a little bit of this video now. There, there shouldn't be. Our people shouldn't even be fighting with with just regular niggas in the streets, man. Let's all fighting against each other. You both out there preaching the Bible and niggas going at it. I mean, it's such a stupid look, man. It's such a bad look. This is not a good look. And I'm, you know, kind of going off into it on my end on my channel because, you know, we do have flock. We look at our subscribers as being flock, you know, because, uh, you know, there are people that they learn from us, you know. And if you've been been learning, you've been being edified, um, you've been exhorted. Hey, I'm trying to do my best to, to give it to you, um, you know, and the brother Harad. I know I showed the brother Harad the video earlier today. And he was very upset, man. He was very, very, I could see just the way he was just going in. And I could tell he was super duper upset, but I had to, you know, let him know like, hey, look, man, this is a part of this ministry. This is a part of what's going to happen and what would be happening in the end days because these spirits, they are back on earth. These are some of the same people that were saying, you know, crucify the Lord, crucify him, crucify him. You know, they didn't, they didn't want nothing to do with the Lord, man. He's not my Lord, you know, basically, you know, and. You know, you got brothers that go out there, man, and they, they preach and they teach all for strife and contention. They don't teach because they, they actually love the Israelites and are trying to wake up the Israelites, the elect of Israel, man. They, you know, you got brothers that they just want to debate. They, they gather knowledge and then that knowledge puffs them up. And then they, you know, they go forth and they just, you know, have no idea that <laughs> the Lord is not even really dealing with them like that, man. This is supposed to be a love thing. A love ministry. One of the main things that the Lord told us to do was love the brethren, man. That was when it went when it, um the one guy asked the Lord, well, what's the main commandments? As a matter of fact, let me just grab that real quick. I'm gonna come to this video because what you're gonna see is two Hebrew Israelite camps going at it, man. And it's just ridiculous, man. Uh, let's see. Um Oh, yeah, that's uh, Matthew chapter 22. Let's get the whole thing. Uh, let's start at verse 36 here. Matthew 22 and 36, it says, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? And Yahweh said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. And of course, you can see it in red letters. So we know that this is Yahweh speaking, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is unto and the second is like unto it. So basically, they're basically the same almost. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. See? On these two commandments, loving the brethren. That's one of the main things. Hey, that's 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 a main commandment, man. That's the hatred that we have for people. As a people, the hatred that we have towards each other, we don't hate our enemy, the people that put us in the situation that we're pretty much in. You know, well, we know that Yahweh, he done it. You know, he he put us in slavery and 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 and, and place enemies against us. But we don't latch out, lash out at the enemies of, uh, of our people like how we lash out on each other, man. But let's let's play some of the video. And I'm playing this from. Um, 
uh, uh, GMS South Carolina 08. I mean, a bunch of brothers went into it. He had a, a pretty clear version of the video, so I'm just going to just play it. You know what I'm saying? And you're just going to see that these are two camps that's literally out there with Bibles. Going at it, man. Okay, so pretty much you, you see what it is. I mean, and basically, I'm assuming that they're holding these brothers down until the police get there. Now, why would you want your enemy to come and pick up your people? You could have let the brothers got on up, man, and just went on about their way. Of course, they're uh, uh, outnumbered, which was ignorant as hell to me anyway. I mean, but the scriptures talks about let's go into this real quick. But you know what? Let me let me get this back again, man, because it, it, there was no love there, man. Matthew 22 and 36, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? And Yahweh shall I said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. Verse 39, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Simple, man. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophet. And then you out here preaching to reach, trying to reach the elect of Israel, but we know, we already pretty much know um, somebody was wrong in this area because it, it, whoever was there on that spot first, that that, that, that that other camp should have never pulled up on them. The other camp should have never set up on the side of them. That's why I'm saying that some brothers, they, they teach for, um, you know, out of strife and contention, man. You know? Where's the edification in that? How are people going to be edif edified, both of y'all out there on, on speakerphones, screaming two separate scriptures at the same time, and people just looking like, oh, are these niggas together? Of <laughs> I mean, it, it don't make no sense, man. It really just don't make no sense at all. But we do understand that these things must ha have, they have to happen, man. You don't teach on another man's foundation, man. 
that scripture uh so like it bear with me real quick yeah yeah that's that uh Romans 15 and 20. Yay. Let me go off into it. Might get a little bit more on it. Start at verse 19. It says, Through mighty signs and wonders and by, this, by the power of the Spirit of Yahweh, so that from Jerusalem and round about of, round about unto Ella Rakum, Salaki, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I have fully preached the gospel of Yahweh Shai. Yea, so have I strived to preach the gospel, not where Yahweh Shai was named, lest I should build upon another man's foundation. But as it is written, to whom he was not spoken of, they shall see and they shall, they that have not heard shall understand. But the point is, you don't, you know, you don't teach on another foundation. There's no use in it. If you love the flock. If you love the, the nation of Israel, you're going to you're going to basically be like up oh, some brothers right there. Oh, shal shalom. You know, hey, keep doing the work, you know, and go to the, uh, the water. We got somebody right here in this location already. We're going to go to another one. So this 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 full gospel can go out, man, to the four corners of the earth, so to speak. These come on, man. You got uh, two, two, seven, one of them. Hey, I mean, I've seen videos of, you know. Cause I know the Apostle Gabar, he brought up. Um, I remember that video too. I, I remember watching that video where ISUPK, which was the ones that was on the ground, you know what I'm saying? That you know what that was, you know, pretty much outnumbered, and they ran up on um, GMS in Pittsburgh. And I watched that video. I seen that video. And those brothers out in G GMS Pittsburgh, you know, they just they was like, okay, well, hey, y'all got it, man. But they they came on the spot. They came on a block. I'm talking about on some bully shit. It wasn't even like they actually made them move on some straight gangster shit. This our city shit, man. So when you go in, you know, when you when you come into this truth and you're going out on the highways and byways, man, don't teach where you see somebody else teaching, man. Just leave that alone. If you see somebody, you like, oh, man, that's a dog location. That's a great location. We're, we don't see nobody out here. We going to teach in that same spot that they, they teach in even, you know, when they're not there. No, don't do that, man. Just find you a spot. It's actually, it's better for you to pray to Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shah for a spot. Now, when I first came into this truth, I could remember the same brother, this same brother right here that I want, you know, that I just played the video from, um, GMS South Carolina um, 08. I can remember him saying when you hey, go find you a couple of spots because some days it may be raining some days it may be snowing find you somewhere where you got some underneath shelter some days may be hotter than others so he like you know find you at least two to three spots four spots or so that way you know you, you you're 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 out of the elements of the weather and all that stuff and i never forgot that you know what i'm saying so you know the spot that me and the brother was at this past saturday at camp we've been out there for about a, almost a year but we got another spot just up the way from there. But, you know, but because it's got that little dip, it's got that little shelter. It keeps us out of the rain. The phone is out of the rain. The camera is out of the rain. You know what I'm saying? Our tripod and everything is out of the rain. So we got that one spot and it's at a bus stop, it, it, you know, where um, two, two separate, two different buses come. And it's a lot of traffic that blow through. And I can remember when I first went out there, I prayed to Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know what I'm saying, for a spot. And that's where he led me to. And then, and you know what? He led me to that spot. And then a few months later, that's when the brother Harad, he seen me out there teaching. And we've been together teaching ever since. He, he rolled up. It was like Shalom. He just I'm talking about he literally kind of appeared out of thin air to me, man, because I didn't even see him. He was like Shalom. <laughs> and then he, he came and stood right by me, man, and just started reading. You know, I didn't mind it. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, I had been praying to you how about Shemiah Shah for some help. You know, and it's nothing like having a brother with you out on the highways and byways, man, because the scriptures talks about how um two. I think that's in a, um Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastic, yeah, Ecclesiastes, Salakia. Uh, uh, let me see. I'm just gonna put it in like this. I can't remember how it's worded exactly. Yes, Ecclesiastes uh, four and eleven. 
And it's a good thing to have a, um, a brother out on the highways and byways with you, man. You see? <laughs> but, hey, <laughs> I, 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 like I said, that type of contention, man, you can, hey, bro, you got it, bro. Hey, Shalom, y'all, y'all have a good one, man. We just going to move up the block. It's no use in going into that, man. It's no use in fighting and scrapping with that. Now, I'm with the brother in GMS um, New York, um, brother, um, I think it's uh, Gabar. I'm a Juan Gabar. He was talking about, man, Babylon is too big for that shit. Y'all did. But that was, that's how you know. Whoever rolled up, you know, somebody was there first. And whoever rolled up secondarily, they was on some strife of contention, man. But this is going off into two. Um, verse nine, Ecclesiastes um, four and nine. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. See? And that can go off into physical and in spiritual um, walk, man. It says, so like you. Verse 10, for if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm together? See? And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him, and threefold cord is not quickly broken. Now it was three guys that was on it. It was three, three of the, the look like um ISUP got ISUPK guys. But you, you you fighting for the wrong reason. So your ass is getting you're getting pinned. It's not even what what kind of wisdom is it that you're gonna fight thirty niggas, man? Three dudes gonna fight. So all all three of y'all you're you're not the the um the, the mighty David, you know the um the mighty warriors of David, man. You're not slaying ten thousand. You're not slaying. You know, here you go. A lot of most Jake out of shape anyway, you know, big, overweight, out of breath. And you you about to try and wrestle with how, I don't even get it. Like how, you, you, you know, you out there, you, you're outnumbered by 30, man. <laughs> Ain't no way. Come on, man. I, I'm definitely stepping away. And that that's not being, you know, having no fear or nothing like that. That's just common sense, man. But I guess they wasn't expecting those 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 guys to react like how they reacted. But still, at the same time, too, like I said, it's 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 a um it's not a good look. It's just not a good look on the on the ministry, man. Um, let's see here, so lock you. Okay, this is Second Corinthians chapter six. Let's start from the top. It says, "When we then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that you." That ye receive not the grace of Yahweh in vain. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted. And in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Which means, you know, going off to help thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. It says, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. See that? But in all things approving ourselves... As the ministers of Yahweh in much patience. See, they should have had patience in affliction. You know, even though, you know, somebody, you know, somebody because somebody was wrong in that situation. We didn't see who got to that camp spot first. But whoever it was, you know, any even on both ends, one should have said, you know what? I'm, you know, let's patiently, you know, just endure this affliction, man, because hey, it is what it is. We're just going to move to another spot. It says in much patience. In afflictions, in necessity, in distresses, in stripes, in, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watchings, in fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of Yahweh, by the armor of the righteousness on the right hand and on the left. By honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report as deceivers and yet true, as unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold we live, as chastened and not killed, as sorrowful yet also yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. So you trying to tell me between those two, those don't, especially with IUIC, because they talk about keeping the law, statutes, and commandments all the time. That's one of their main themes. You see? So somebody should have said, hey, you know what? 
And look at all those things that was named off that you should be able to that you should be able to go through for this for the sake of the gospel. But yet uh, 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 some simple shit and you fighting like niggas in, in, in the club, man. You ain't no different than 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 some nigga that's in, in, in a club, man. Jake just out here. Just you know what I'm saying? Like that don't even make no sense, bro. It don't make it don't make, it just don't add up. All those things that was just named off. Jake not going through, neither one of them was going through even 2% of what we just read, what I just read off. But when it came down to the affliction, okay, well, all right, you know what, man, y'all got it, man. It should be okay. Y'all want to teach here to keep from going into what they went through. They could have just, well, somebody should have been like, even if they got there first, look, man, we was already here. But you got Jake, man, they proud, they big headed. We ain't going nowhere. I ain't moving. I ain't going nowhere. We ain't gonna let y'all bully us. And, hey, look, when it straight comes down to, uh, down to that, you read the scriptures and you say, hey, bro, y'all on our foundation. You see what the scripture says about that. Hey, look, man, y'all going off. If they don't accept that, then you got to go ahead and, and, and boogie, man. You got to go ahead and get on because you, you, you have to clearly know at that point they're not in the spirit. They're out here carnal as hell, bro. Now, I've never had a situation like that, but... You know, I have seen and, and the water too, you know, y'all about Shimmy was shot for our apostles and elders on down that they teach us. Hey, man, when a situation like that, just pack your stuff up, man, and move to another location. Even if you were there first, it's not worth it. And it's not because IUAC, you know, they was holding them boys down like cops, man, waiting on the cops to come. Basically, I'm, I'm assuming because I can't see them like you holding them all that that particular time. You know, you're on the phone, you calling the police on your own people, man. When I get it, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, you could have been assaulted and uh, I'm going to press charges. But what, do, what does the scripture say about that? Why don't you why don't you take the L? Roughly paraphrasing. The scripture talks about why don't you just take the loss? But you will go back and forth to court and try and see this man, one of your fellow Israelite brethren, go to jail, go through the court system, lose work, lose all these things. None of it is brotherly, man. It's not a brotherly love type of thing, man. So anyway, like I said, again, hey, you knew to you newer brothers, if you're coming into this thing and you're out here and you're teaching just if, and, and something like that happens, just go ahead and just get up and leave, man. Pack up. And leave and, and just bless those brothers. Hey, man, y'all have a good one. You know what I'm saying? Shalom. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and we're going to see what's going to happen in the future because the Lord, he's in control of it. He said, to, um, you know, not. um, What's that? Uh, Let me get it. I don't want to butcher it. Evil for evil. Let the Lord have the ven vengeance is of the Lord. Matter of fact, you know what? Let me put that in. The Lord knows what's going on. Just let the Lord handle it. Eventually, the Lord is going to handle it. Trust me, he's not going to let that shit slide and get away. Especially if you was in the right. Romans 12 and 19, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is, rich, for it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. So that, and that's the type of mindset that we have to have. They could have walked away like, you know what? Hey, all right, you know. And the scripture talks about, you know, bless those that, you know. Cause it, and, and that's going off into Israelites. You know what I'm saying? They ain't just talking about just some damn heathen running up, smacking you, and you turn the other cheek and all that other shit. We talking about amongst our brethren, the Israelites. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. You know? You're supposed to be forgiving towards them and 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 and, and basically praying for them and some of them don't know no better you know that's the scriptures hey we stick to the scriptures and that may seem like a hard thing but we have to stick to the scriptures man that's what the scripture says if you're gonna come into this truth yeah it's gonna be some you know and i'm teaching to my i'm talking to myself right now because i can't imagine some <laughs> jake running up on me and trying to do me all kinds of dirty you know what i'm saying man and i gotta you know, basically, you know, take a L or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You know, because Jake real proud like that. No, nah, you ain't going to talk shit to me. You ain't going to be no, 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 no. You know, nah, man, when it comes to this truth, hey, that old life, that old man, that shit is out the window. You can't do what you used to do before. That's why a lot of these Jake out here getting knocked off, man. So I just wanted to just touch on that, man. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Call me on, y'all.